What's up and welcome. On my lovely faces on the internet, it's your boy M. Lee on the films, aka the Hobby Collector, also known as the Universal Gamer and the Multi Talent King. Um, coming at you guys with my first channel update of the year, quarter one channel update for 2022. It's an update letting you guys see what's coming up. You know what I got planned for, you know, new projects and, you know, talk about projects I just got done doing and also letting you guys know what's going on with me personally for my subscribers out there and people that have been watching me grow, literally, you know, letting you guys know my growth inside this world and what's going on with your boy and moves I got coming up. So with that being said, folks, long guys intro, of course you guys don't know, but I messed up on the damn intro like 15 times, but yeah, man. So first and foremost, I got everything written down. You know, when I have stuff written down, you know, it's a big update because normally it's all up here. But anyways, uh, the new camera, you guys already seen it already, did an unboxing video of it, did a teaser, a teaser before I did the unboxing, been posting a lot of uh, Instagram videos and stuff like that. Follow your boy on Instagram if you want more miniature uh videos of your boy and stuff and just see more of me posting you know on social media but yeah i got the new camera and the first project i did with the new camera is when uh phase rug and De destroying came out here to san diego lincoln high school my son's high school to do the ones you know what i'm saying so that was pretty cool and interesting i had to go to work that day but i still got my film on and you know it's fun filming the, my first little project with the 6k pro um since it's a new camera, I'm not used to the exposures and stuff like that. I'm so used to Canon cameras. I kind of had the exposure off in the beginning. I kind of felt like I had it too dark. And then when I adjusted for that, I kind of felt like I had it too bright. So it was my first shoot, you know what I'm saying? You no. Know, and I didn't realize that the brightness on the screen wasn't turned all the way up. So I was like, dang, people said the screen is bright, but it's okay. You know, it did. the brightness wasn't turned all the way up. So, you know, it was my first shoot. So I just had to learn and, you know, go with, roll with it and stuff like that. But it still turned out pretty decent. So that's why I'm using the shoot on right now in 4K. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, uh, that was a nice little project. I already uploaded it. So if you haven't watched it, it's already up. You know, um, shout out my boy Destroy. And if you need another videographer, holla at your boy. I ain't even joking. You know what I'm saying? Your boy too underrated out here. I'm just trying to expand my horizons. You know what I'm saying? So I really need to be branching myself out and hollering at people, you know, for real, for real. So holla at your boy. All right. So next topic, taking a step back and retiring from filming, you know, for a little bit actually made me more popular when I started back just recently, just recently. Um, and that's, that's real, you know, it's crazy the love I've been getting lately and stuff like that since I started back filming. Even when I went downtown with the camera, just to film randomly, get people hop on camera and stuff, just to get some nighttime nightlife, you know, after the club vibes and stuff like that. And when I was filming down there, I was getting so much love being shown. Y'all better hit this nigga up. If y'all ain't hitting them up, y'all slacking. Y'all lacking. Y'all right. lacking. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Much love. Emily. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Love like you. Uh, you local film artist, bro? Yeah. Okay. You everything, bro. Keep it up. This right here, he about to be famous someday. someday. That's all I'm saying, bro. I see the camera, bro. I'm trying to see what's up. Hey, right here. Give me a car. He, he already gave me one. Like even when the dudes down there was telling me like, yeah, bro, I can tell that like, you, you're you're about to be famous, bro. Like for real, for real. It's got a lot of love shown. I wasn't expecting it, but you know, a lot of people showing me showing your boy love and stuff. Cause it's like one of those things where, and I made a vlog talking about this. It's one of those things where once someone dies or once they stop doing what they do, that's when everyone starts to focus on them and try to see, okay, what were they about, you know? But then no one's expecting them to return back but when you return back that's what makes people appreciate you because they, they they had time to actually see what you were about when you took a step back and then once you're back it's like oh damn we thought we lost him forever so now that he's back it's like okay yeah we got to really really make it do what it do so that's pretty much what it is but yeah like i said even people that don't even know me never met me before just going out with my camera the vibes i've been getting from people like the love i've been getting shown and stuff like that i had to do the card he like, hey bro, give me, give me some more. Hold on, no, give me, let me get a couple more. All right, so next up is, um, I talked to you guys about my first official project with the 6K Pro, but my first official paid project is by my boy V Versatile. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I got a promo, or he has a promo uh, commercial coming up for his his new uh, autism shop. You know, it's a nice little shop that he got set up, actually right down the street from my job, my regular job. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little shop and. 
the gear is nice. It got messages on the back to, to spread awareness to folks out there that, that's not aware about, you know, children and adults with autism and their different behaviors and, and actions and stuff like that. So it really, really spreads awareness and, and love and care and stuff like that when it comes to, you know, autism. So I like that. So that's my first official, official project with the uh, 6K Pro. Can't wait to work on that. I'm just waiting for the uh, audio track that my boy V is gonna use, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the editor. And then speaking of, like he already got a, a music video that we filmed, bringing awareness to autism and stuff like that. So that, mu that music video hit over a million views, got popular all around the world and stuff like that. All right, so next up, I got some new vlogs coming. I don't know what to name them, but I already had mentioned how I went downtown with my camera to film and stuff like that. That's one of them. And I kind of wanted to name it We Outside. And the reason why is because like whenever I run into uh, D Vicious when I'm filming, that's our little slogan, like We Outside. San Diego, this is how we get down, nigga, downtown, this is the city. And we outside, I'm outside. You see, we just walk into each other on the regular shit. That's how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm filming, like we outside with it. So if I go to like Florida or something like that or anywhere like it'll be we outside miami beach or we outside um texas um you know what i'm saying are we outside downtown san diego the, the main title will be we outside and the subtitle will be wherever i'm at i think it'll catch on it's something it's something new and i think it's catchy so tell me what y'all think you know and i was gonna work on that vlog first but i decided to you know what let me go ahead and do my channel update let me put that to the side do my channel update first go ahead and edit that and let me see the, uh, you know, responses I get from that. And don't get that confused with my vlog time videos that I be having with my son. Cause we have snack time, vlog time, and it's also supposed to be game time and dance time. I'm supposed to be adding to it. But, um, yeah, we already been doing snack time and vlog time. What you got for, we have two more vlog time videos. I already, we already got filmed already. Well, not two more. I already did the destroying one. So I only got one more to put up, but, um, yeah, so those are different from We Outside. Our vlog time videos are pretty much like snack time. Whenever me and my son go somewhere together, probably go somewhere for the first time or take him somewhere for the first time, vlog time. Same thing with snack time. Anytime we eat something for the first time, try a new snack for the first time, snack time. Game time. If we buy a brand new game, are we doing like a co-op Halo session? You know what I'm saying? Like, boom, game time. So that's pretty much what it is. And the dance videos are coming back. I think I got that written down somewhere inside here. I don't think I do. But yeah, the dance videos are coming back. Dance is like one of my first loves. Pretty much my first love besides football. So, and also coming soon, Snack Time Season 2, Episode 2. You guys already seen Episode 2. You guys already seen Episode 1 already. Episode 2 is coming. And that one's kind of interesting. I'm just going to say that. I wouldn't say interesting, but like, wasn't what we expected. But, you know, still... You know, you guys will see what we're talking about. But Snack Time Season 2, Episode 2, definitely coming soon. So be looking out for that. Next up, lots of unboxings coming. Like, for reals, man. I even got stuff over here that I still got to do voiceover for. This is already stuff that I unboxed already. I already filmed the B-roll of this. This is a um, battery jumper for your vehicle and stuff like that. And also, you can charge up your phone and, you know, power up your laptop and stuff like that. It, man, it already paid for itself already. So, and I got... I got it on a uh, sale from Amazon. So I love this thing, man. Um, also, I got something else for my vehicle, which is already already been using it and everything, but I got a new dash cam, reverse cam. Um, my other one has stopped working on me. Um, so I got a new one, a little more wider one. It's cool to have these, man. So when you're reversing, and even when you're just driving regularly, you can always see what's behind you with a live video feed. That's amazing to me. And all this stuff I've been had for like a couple of months already, a month or two already. So, you know, and that's not even everything. I got, what's this? This is, this was, what was this? Oh, these are my batteries. So I got more batteries from my uh, Blackmagic 6K Pro, you know, stronger batteries. So I still gotta do an unboxing of that. So I got a lot of unboxing videos to come. I got more boxes over there. I gotta still do voiceovers. That's what I do. When I do the unboxing B-roll of my products, I still keep the boxes around my um, office desk. So when I sit down, I think to myself, what are, what are some of the videos I still gotta do voiceovers for? I still see the boxes sitting there on my desk and my mic is right there. So I know, okay, these are still products I still gotta do voiceovers for. So. It's a different way I do things, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own little way, but I just put all my boxes on my desk so I know to come back and film the beat, film the voiceover. Next up, um, next topic, two more. I got four more topics inside my YouTube 
update and then next will be my personal update what's going on with me personally so this is going to be like a 30 minute video so get some popcorn some wine and stuff like that and i'm not even about to even try and rush you i'm about to you know just take my time and flow through it um i do have a new camera i just got a camera already but i do have another one on layaway from a pawn shop and i had this on layaway before i even got my uh black magic 6k pro i'm not going to tell you guys what camera it is all i'm gonna say is that when this camera first was out it was it, it was groundbreaking you know what i'm saying it, it really really flipped everything on its head and it was the camera to have at that time you know what i'm saying like a lot of people was doing a lot of projects with that camera if you were around when that camera first came out to own that camera now it's kind of like a nostalgic feeling. So some of y'all with those hints right there may guess what it is. But let me know what camera you think I have on layaway. And I got a good deal. The amount that I paid for that camera is the amount that that camera costs all by itself with none of the accessories that came with it. A lens, it comes with a CFast card. And we already know how much how expensive those CFast cards can be. And it comes with a good one. You know, like I, that, that card got to at least be like $120, you know, and then the lens got to be like 100 to $200. And the amount, the amount that I paid for it is how much the body costs all by itself used. So I got all the accessories for free, pretty much. It comes with the carrying bag and everything. But it is an older camera, and I'm going to be mainly using that camera for my creative type of shooting. I'm not going to tell you if it's video or photo. You know, you gotta, you gotta kind of guess it. But like I said, mainly this camera is gonna be for my detailed creative shots. Like the shots where I can really, really take my time. Shots where I'm not doing it for a client or nothing. I'm doing it for me. Like getting my own little take my time creative shots and stuff like that. Cause it is, it is a full frame camera. So that's the last hint that you guys get is a full frame camera. So and then next up, there's more things I need for my uh, 6K camera, a V mount battery. Um, that's pretty much the main thing right there and a stabilizer eventually, but mainly it's like the V-mount battery, you need that. Um, I am using these stronger batteries like I'm using right now currently, but like when you're doing big shoots, weddings and stuff like that, you don't got time to be swapping out batteries. You want something that's gonna power you the whole day, the whole shoot. That's where the V-mount battery is gonna come in handy. And yeah. And then also lastly, when it comes to my YouTube update, I got my new business cards uh, coming from Vistaprint. I haven't ordered them yet. I'm still in the midst of uh, customizing them. I'm, I'm lightly redesigning them. So on the back, I'm changing some of the pictures I got on the back and stuff like that. And some of the wording and stuff. My um, Instagram name is different. First, I was going by Marvin Lee W. Uh, now I'm going by the multi-talent uh, multi king because that name describes me much better on Instagram. I'm always posting behind the scenes of what I'm doing on YouTube, dance videos, singing videos. Um, just all kind of stuff, cooking videos, um, pictures, different mods and stuff I'm doing with my vehicle and inside, and inside the house and stuff. Just little different projects and stuff. So multi-talent king. But yeah, man, um, nothing's really changing on my business cards. They're still going to be uh, black. Um, also on the front, I pushed the black all the way to the edges. When I first design, designed these, I thought it was going to make my Emily Films logo in the middle look too stretched out if I stretch it out a little bit more but it really doesn't look bad at all. So I went ahead and stretched it out all the way to the uh, both ends on my new business cards. And yeah. And then after that, I'm gonna get my gaming business cards made. I don't really promote my gaming channel that much like that when I'm out and about in public, but I'm gonna start, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's gonna do it for my channel update as far as what I, what's going on with your boy on a YouTube scene. But now off the scene of YouTube, um, let me give you guys an update of what's going on with your boy on, on my personal life and stuff like that. Um, it's a lot, man, just like my uh, YouTube life. So first and foremost, your boy finally got me my new, I got a new, I'm inside a new final relationship, you know? Um, so that's one, that's another thing I've been focusing on lately. So if you haven't been really seeing that much of me, you know, I've been building up with somebody and stuff and I've been strict this time around. Just to let you guys know a little bit of how I maneuver when it comes to my love life. Like I'm super strict. I've been super strict even on myself. I haven't been having no sex or nothing like that. Even though I could have been, man, please. <laughs> even going out to the clubs and stuff like that and being around a lot of women and ladies and stuff, I haven't really been doing nothing at all. You know, I ain't gonna say haven't really, I haven't been doing nothing. Take the really out of there. I haven't been doing nothing at all. If you really want something and you're really trying to achieve something, it takes patience. Everything takes patience. So it takes for you to wait. Even when it comes to yourself, you gotta put yourself in the back seat sometimes and just, you know, fight your own cravings or your own ego and your own this and that. 
so you can be able to get what you want. Like my, one of my main things I like to say is sometimes you got to do the things you don't want to do so you can so you can do the things you want to do. I'm going to say that again. Sometimes you got to do the things you don't want to do so that you can do the things you want to do. You know, so that's kind of like what that is. If you really want to find that one person, whether you male or female, no matter who you is, woman, child, you know, if you're trying to find that special someone, it takes for you to take your time and be alone and, and, and just, you know, take your time, you know, take time to maneuver and see see who's who and see what's what. And, that's, and, and when you're able to be alone for a long time to yourself, even when you have other opportunities easily, but you choose to just be alone and just sit back and just wait and see who's the one for you instead of just hopping into something because you're lonely, that's when you truly find out one for you. So that's where I'm at right now. And, you know, and I'm just blessed. You're like, it's been about three, four years since she even dated anybody. So she's just been staying to herself, working on her, working on her career and stuff like that. Ain't the type of woman that just be worrying about what a dude can do for her to the point where we about to be moving into our new house sometime soon, you know, that she purchased. So, and so just to put it out there, I'm a, I'm already a homeowner and I called this out that I was going to be a home homeowner by the time I'm, by the time 2023 comes. You know, 2023, around 2023 and 2024, I said I was going to be owning my own house. I don't know. I don't know how, but every single time I speak, in, I speak stuff into existence. It always happens, you know, because I'm, I'm super spiritual. I try to remain positive for the most part. And the reason why I say for the most part is because the world is full with negativity. You know, we already had a little ups and downs already. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves is, you know, communication. So, you know, that's the only thing that I can see that kind of make me be like ah bother and that man please we about to be on a man so yeah so that i got my new relationship then also i got a vlog coming of us moving into the new house is giving a walk and stuff like that and just seeing how it looks i haven't even seen how it looks yet you know um and the, and our relationship is kind of a somewhat long distance relationship not long distance like five like a two and a half hours she lived in yuma arizona i live in san diego so you know but we're making it do what it do. She brought a house out here and we're about to, you know, move on in and make it do what it do, man. And I got to move from this this house anyways because the owner sold the property. So I got to be out of here in 60 days, literally. So literally uh, tomorrow or today, it's, we got to start packing and stuff. Well, I'm about to start packing and stuff. We don't have to, but, you know, the sooner we're out, we the, the more money we get back. And then the new, the new buyer is going to, you know, pay for, you know, our first month's rent at the place that we moved to. But... We don't got no first month's rent, so, but I'm gonna get cashed out anyways. And then right before I filmed this vlog, her brother and her low key slipped, let it slip that, I know, this is like crazy right now, but like, this girl bought me a vehicle, 2022. So it's like, I got a lot of vlog, I got a lot of videos coming. I gotta use adventures and stuff that I go on inside my life to bring to you guys and turn it into like a little vlog and stuff like that. So that's my main thing I want to do. Can't wait to do and just take you guys on this new adventure with me. But my thing is this, and I said this to my sister, I'm gonna close it out with this. And this is the reason why I could have been dated women that were rich and wealthy and stuff like that. Cause I attract different type of women than the average dude. I'm just saying, but, um, the reason I didn't, I, you haven't never seen me date a wealthy woman is because we don't match. Like your money is not gonna make me love you. You are what's gonna make me love you. So she happened to have it like that, but we happen to match at the same time. Other than that, I wouldn't be with her either. Like what you can buy me is not gonna make me be with you. I thought I found that one before a couple of times, but you know, this is it though. I can tell, like, I can feel it. Like she matches everything when it comes to me and she really, really cares about me. Next up, yeah, your boy's still at Walmart, but you know, yeah, I'm still doing my thing there as a manager. And now that I'm quote unquote part, part, part homeowner now, like I'm able to really, really stack up and really, really be comfortable and be able to, you know, do things that I've been wanting to do and go on, go on vacations and just, you know, be able to afford things without having to wait at a certain time or a certain point. I can just, you know, get things done. It's all about being comfortable. It's not about splurging and buying all kind of expensive stuff because you got it like that. It's all about just being able to be comfortable and do things that you normally 
didn't have the opportunity to do and stuff like that because you were financially financially held back you know so so yeah man so those of you out there you never know who you run into you never know who someone is what someone can do for you what someone really willing to do for you and stuff like that just by you simply being who you are being humble and just treating treating someone nice treating someone good you know what i'm saying genuinely not just because because i didn't even know she had it like that at all I was just mingling with her, talking to her and stuff like that. And, and we both realized that we vibe real good. And we were just talking, 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 decided to date. I wouldn't expect for her to buy a brand new vehicle, a, a place for us and everything. Like, so that's a blessing all within itself. And I don't know, I'm just speechless. Like, it's crazy. Like I said, I'm gonna record the whole thing, record the whole adventure. My son just turned 17, believe it or not, like a few days ago, you know? So it's been a while since I had the experience of having a kid and stuff. And I was younger. So now that I'm older, it's gonna be it's gonna hit way different it's gonna be way different you know all right and then last but not least since i just long ass channel update um i already kind of talked about this too but my life slash connections with people is crazy right now you know in a good way like i said like when i've been going out start back filming again the connections i've been getting with people the the way people have been talking to me interacting with me just been overwhelming in a good way you know um Everything been hitting back to back like like clockwork, you know, so I'm gonna end it off with that Thank you guys for watching this whole channel update if you did sit, stick around and watch the whole thing. Thank you I really really appreciate it. Appreciate everyone out there um, Miss K that always comes by drop a comment down below and stuff like that Like that means a lot, you know, it actually goes to show that you go out your way every single time You see M. Lee post a video the hobby collector post a video you boom you right up on it Like I, I appreciate that and I recognize all that, you know again. Thank you guys for watching love all you guys out there Thanks for to all the new subscribers that have been subscribing. Shout out to anybody out there that I met personally on a personal level uh, recently that I hand a card to or just mingled with for a little bit. You know, shout out to you. Uh, appreciate the love and shout out to my boy D Vicious. If you're watching this, hey man, what should we name those vlogs? Like I said, should we name it We Outside? You know, that's why I think we should name it We Outside. That makes that makes perfect sense, you know. So yeah, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get off this video. Might work on this video today. I do have a lot to do today, to be honest with you. I gotta go grocery shopping um buy some boxes start getting ready to start pre pre-packing and stuff like that and yeah man my life is about to be get crazy you know in a good way so with that said i'm out peace